put a single length of wire through the turnbuckle eyes or between the jaws of the turnbuckle fork as applicable at one end of the ends of the turnbuckle. Wind each of the wire ends in the opposite directions around the first half of the turnbuckle barrel so that the wires cross each other twice. Then put both wire ends through the hole in the middle of the barrel so that the third time the wires cross they are inside the hole. Again, wind the two wires in opposite directions around the remaining half of the turnbuckle. The wires will cross twice. Put both wire ends through the turnbuckle eye in opposite directions and pull them tight towards the turnbuckle barrel. Wrap one end of the wire at least four times around the shank of the turnbuckle. This binds the other end of the wire that you pulled through the turnbuckle eye in place. Cut the remaining part of the wrapped wire off. Turn the cut end of the wire towards the shank to prevent injury. Wrap the remaining end of the wire at least four times in the opposite direction around the shank of the turnbuckle. The wire wrap is closest to the turnbuckle barrel. Cut the remaining part off the wrapped wire and turn the end of the wrapped wire towards the shank again to prevent injury. In this example, we are doing a single wrap spiral. In this example, we're using 32 thou stainless steel lock wire. So we start with positioning the piece of lock wire through one of the holes in the terminal. And then we do two crosses and make sure each cross is on opposite sides of the turnbuckle barrel. And then both pieces of lock wire get pushed through the center hole in the turnbuckle barrel on the same side. Now when you're pulling the lock wire through the hole with your pliers, be careful not to kink the lock wire. If you kink it, you'll have to start over. So pull one side tight, pull the other side tight, okay? and then you're going to do the same two crosses but now on this side of the turnbuckle and make sure the crosses are opposite each other so we're doing one on this side another one on the bottom side and then on this end of the terminal the pieces of lock were going the opposite sides of each hole and again when you're tensioning the lock wire with your pliers, be careful not to kink it. Now we have to do the wraps, and you want to make sure your wraps go in opposite directions. So we're going to pull the wire tight, take up any slack, and now we start our wrap. And you want to start with the wrap on the outer most end of the terminal. And remember the minimum amount of wraps around the terminal, according to AC4313, is four. So here we've done our four wraps, trim off the excess, and you want to trim off any parts of the cable that have been kinked or damaged by your pliers. Make sure you get your FOD, catch your FOD, and now when you do the other wrap, it's going to go in the opposite direction of the one that we just did. Make sure you put the points of the lock wire so they're kind of pointed towards or down towards the terminal. And now this wrap on this side is going in the opposite direction of the previous one. And again, minimum four wraps around the terminal or fitting. And once you have your four wraps, trim off the excess lock wire. And again, you want to make sure you cut off any pieces that are damaged from the pliers. You want a good pair of side cutters to do the cutting. And now see how that piece is still pointed up? Just roll it down with the part of the pliers that doesn't have the serrations on it so you don't damage the wire. Do the same to the other one. 
and this one we're trimming a bit more because there's a damaged part and now we're done single wrap spiral using 32 thou stainless steel lockwear 